January 4th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Matthew, Chapter 4, from the New Testament. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After he fasted forty days and forty nights, he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become bread. But he answered, It is written, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city, had him stand on the highest point of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and with their hands they will lift you up, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Once again it is written, You are not to put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their grandeur. And he said to him, I will give you all of these things if you throw yourself to the ground and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Go away, Satan, for it is written, You are to worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him, and the angels came and began ministering to his needs. Now when Jesus heard that John had been imprisoned, he went into Galilee. While in Galilee, he moved from Nazareth to make his home in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, so that what was spoken by Isaiah the prophet would be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way by the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light, and on those who sit in the region, in shadow of death, a light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to preach his message. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. As he was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. He said to them, Follow me, and I will turn you into fishers of people. They left their nets immediately and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother in a boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. Then he called them. They immediately left their boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went throughout all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of disease and sickness among the people. So a report about him spread throughout Syria. People brought to him all who suffered with various illnesses and afflictions, those who had seizures, paralytics, and those possessed by demons, and he healed them. And large crowds followed him from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan River. God, thank you so much for your words today. I ask that we have good hearing. <laughs> I ask that we have good hearing so that when you call us out of the boat to come follow you, that we do exactly like these brothers did, that they immediately left what they were doing and followed you. I ask for hearts that are open, not with filters of everyday things going on and drama and situations and bills and everything like that, but that when you call us to do your will, that we just set down our nets, we set down our everyday things, and we just follow you. We may not know where you're headed, we may not know what you're doing with us, but it doesn't matter because you promise that you will make all things good. 
and that you will be glorified when we follow your will. God, call us out of the boats today and and let us hear and let our hearts hear and let us be able to set everything down and just follow you. In your son's name we pray. Amen.